Hello everybody, today I am going to show you how to create multi-purpose flash type. If you ever heard about easy to boot and Ventory, you already know that they are both amazing. Both of them are tools for creating bootable USB flash drives. One of them provides versatility and the other simplicity. But what happens if you combine them together? You are going to have godlike tool for fixing computers. And not just that. In this guide I am not going to dive too deep into the theory I'll show you how to get it done as quickly as possible. So let's get started. I'm going to be using Samsung Fit Plus 128GB for this tutorial. It provides good reading speed and decent writing speed. If you are a PC technician you might want to use something faster. SanDisk Extreme Pro should satisfy your speed requirements. Also, I would recommend go for a higher flash drive capacity, so you can pack there everything what you need. And as you can see, my little parts are being hellos. For perfect versatile solution, you can use USB SD card reader. Just pick up SD card with decent writing and reading speeds. Having a reader like this on your keys, you can wear as many SD cards in your wallet as you want. Ok, let's do some preparation and download everything which you are going to need. For now, just follow the video. Also, don't forget to download MPI Toolpack. With this toolpack, you can convert legacy ISO images, which might have trouble to boot. I'll show you the details later. Keep following tutorial and download all files. In this guide I am also going to show you how to implement working bootable operating system on the very same flash drive which is going to remember your actions. Write Ventoy Persistence into the Google search. The operating system which we are going to implement is going to be Linux. For that you are going to need persistence file which will serve as memory for your changes. In my case it is going to be Kali Linux. If you are going to pick different Linux distribution make sure it is supported by Ventoy and make sure you are going to use correct persistence file. As you can see here I am downloading package of pre-made persistence files and we are going to use just one of them. The last thing which I would recommend to download is a virtual machine USB boot along with VirtualBox. With that we will be able effectively test our bootable flash drive without rebooting computer. Ok, now navigate to the download folder and we are going to install and extract our files from the desktop. With VirtualBox it is pretty straightforward installation, just press next and finish the installation. Since I have already done that I am just going to cancel it. Easy to boot installation will automatically extract files to the desktop into the folder easy to boot. The rest of the files simply extract the desktop. Before we start doing anything with easy to boot, I would recommend to disable antivirus software because it may interfere with the executing commands from easy to boot application. From beginning also I want to mention that it is uh, recommended to do this on Windows 10 operating system because Windows 10 is able to see all partitions on partition at USB drive and that will be useful as we will see later. Now you can start the application and please don't forget to start it as administrator. When you have plugged your USB flash drive, double check if it is appearing in the drop list. Press the button Manual Partitions plus Options. As you can see here, the tool is detecting Windows 10. If you are in different operating system, you wouldn't be able to see partitioning options. Carefully pick the drive number. Make sure you have the right one. After confirmation dialog we are going to assign free space to the partitions. I am going to assign almost all gigs to the partition 1. 
as you can see I am leaving 1GB for partition 2 which should be enough for potential data growth. For partition 2 we are going to use FAT32 file system as it is recommended for UEFI boot support. If you are wondering what is AGFM, it is just another way to boot your files. It's additional option which you can use when other things will fail. Now you can confirm the airlock, double check the drive if you are not sure. Pick up your language, I'm just going for English. And I am going to also pick up show file extensions because I like overview over the files which are there. I don't want the rotating logo. Yes, write configuration file. This file is going to be used when your ISO image appears to be fragmented to mitigate troubles with the booting. I am going to roll with the default. Yes, we want additional option to boot along with the Ventoy. And yes for Ventoy. Once you see this confirmation dialog, do not rush. Navigate yourself to your temporary folder for Ventoy, as I'm highlighting. From there, copy all files to root directory partition 2 which was recently created by easy to boot on a flash drive. By doing this, we are ensuring that the process of installation of Ventoy will not fail. In the end, you should be able to see green screen as a success of the installation. If something goes wrong and you are going to see red screen, it is indication that installation failed. But don't worry, it is going to be easy to restart installation process by simply drag and drop. Just follow my video guide. Now, navigate to partition 1, we are going to create fold structure there, so everything is nice and clear. To do that, simply start submenu maker as administrator. Since we have plenty of space on partition 1, I'm going to select partition E to B, and I'm going to call my subfolder as Ventoy ISO. Once this process is finished, it will create a submenu and it will create a folder within underscore ISO directory. At this point you can start copying all your bootable ISO images in that folder. As you can see I have already copied mine and it is completely up to you what is going to be there. For me most important option here was the recovery DVDs as well as here and boot CD. If you are interested, you should be able to download all of them without any problems. Also at this point your bootable USB key is almost ready, but let's not stop here. I want to show you more interesting things, and when you finish, it will feel satisfying. One of them is fully working bootable operating system which will remember your actions. In my case I am going to be using bootable Kalinux Live ISO, but it is possible to do this on other Linux distributions. Just check the website which one is supported. Ok, let's get started by navigating to root directory of partition 1. Create the same directories as you can see in the video. Open the folder which you previously unpacked on your desktop, images and copy the right one into the folder, the resistance. You can double check which one to copy on Ventos website, along with the list of other supported Linux distributions. For me it is going to be persistence dot, so I am going to copy that one. Now I am going to rename it and I am going to borrow name from Kali Linux ISO image.
To prevent confusion, you can now unplug your freshly created USB key and plug in any old USB key which you can find at home. If you have any data on it which you need, back it up first, because it is going to be formatted. In this step we are going to be creating configuration file, and this configuration file will be transferred to your main USB flash drive. Even if you are not going for operating system, please do not skip this step. Otherwise, when you will be using Ventoy for booting, it may take annoyingly long time to boot, simply because Ventoy will be searching for ISO images in the entire root directory. Now I am going to format my old USB flash drive with the Ventoy tool. It is going to be ideal basement for us for creating configuration file.